Broadcasting live from a very loud and active place, this is the Brooklyn Baritone Podcast. Hey everyone, thank you for joining me here. There's a lot of activities. You can see where I am set up. Of course, downtown Brooklyn, where it's popping on a weekend night at that. I am uh, in the food court of a famous, what used to be Alby Square Mall, but it's renovated and everything. It looks nice, nice. Uh, food is here, and everyone is nice and cheery. So, I want to talk about hidden talents today. I know I've talked about purpose in the past, and I know for a fact that every one of us who has not found that passion, that niche, and we're actually working on it, and actually toward it, we may dread when Monday morning comes, we may dread when Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, Thursday morning, Friday morning, or any other day when some of us do work on the weekend comes. Now. Many of us do work because we know we got to put that work in to get that paper, chase that bag, as you will, so we can get a house. So we have goals. There are people who decide to sacrifice some years of their life, hours of the day, to get something because they have a plan. And part of that plan is having to sacrifice, having to go through things that you may not really want to do, but you know in the long run it will be worth it. How many of us actually, like these people we see here that's behind me, or the trafficking of many people here, how many people do you feel are actually pursuing what they really want in life? How many people do you think that wake up and are happy to go get it and get it? It doesn't have to necessarily mean money or material things or status, but they're actually getting it because they have that it inside of them to get up every single day to pursue it. Every single day is a potential step closer to their bigger plan because they feel that burning inside of them to do what it is they were born to do. Now, I'm here right now and I just basically, I have a feeling to do something, to say something, film something, I just go do it half of the time. I don't do it as much as I really want to, many of course for time, but for most of my time actually going to get that bag every day waking up trying to get the money pay these bills but at the same time I have it in me to want to share what I have things that I've read I've experienced things that I know actually works in life for improvement for yourself and myself which I've I've applied for myself and I also am still going through the motions just like everyone else I go I go get it I go do it uh, it would be nice to be bigger to have a bigger name but at the same time may not be meant for me to be famous and I don't do it for the likes or the hits even though yes of course it would help I really do it to see how I can grow myself by pursuing talking you can figure by now if you listen to my past shows I like to talk and I and I enjoy the fact that my um, subscribers and my followers they follow me on my path of building myself. It's a beautiful thing to build yourself when you have other people who are actually there with you. People who are cheering you on. People who are seeing your growth and helping your growth. That is immeasurable to have that. And you need people around you that's gonna help you grow. People who can critique you, people who who are going to support you. But you have to realize it yourself. Once you start realizing what is inside of you to put out there in this world, this great big world of many distractions, many things that divide us, many things that can have you doing good things for the wrong reasons, and you could be going on the wrong path, we have to settle into ourselves. This goes straight back to the one and only great Yeshua Hamashiach, also known as Jesus Christ, when he's speaking about a parable, and believe it's in Matthew 25, about the talents that we have. Talents the, the talents he, he used in this parable was basically, he's a master, he owns 
a big piece of land, plantation, or whatever it is that he has, a whole operation going, and he has three workers. And he said he's going to go away for a while, a good while, and I expect you guys to, you know, keep up what's going on here, but I'm going to give you all a good amount of resources and money, based, left him bread, based on how he knows they can handle it. So, you know, one guy he gave, you know, I think five uh, silver pieces, another one uh, three, and the other one one. And one of the guys, basically, he does what so much of us do. We bury him. As opposed to the other two fellows who actually took the talents, that's what they call the talents of silver, and they went and made things happen based on their knowledge of the world, their know-how, and their talents and their abilities to actually go out and make more. One guy probably knew how to talk to people and knew how to flip money for vendors. One guy knew how to flip the land to make it more profitable, while the other one that I'm comparing many of us to, they just slept on it. They said, I was gonna do bare minimum, wake up every day, nine to five, bare minimum, I'm just going to, you know, do a little, little dibbling and dabbling of what I like doing, but I'm not going to get heavy into it because there's no future in that. And then when it comes time to reap the benefits, you know, the master, Elohim, Yeshua, he'll be like, hey, I gave you these talents. What did you do with them? Other people, they say, hey, you gave me, you know, so much, you know, with much blessings, you know, much is required. So I went out there and I did it. I was athletic, you know, I got me a scholarship and I went to college and I made a lot of big money and I was able to bring some people with me and I was able to make some money actually um, to give to charities or I was able to put money into a school or I was able to put money where I grew up. You never know what little thing that you do can impact other people in a major way simply because you utilize your talents to get there step by step. I've said it before that you owe it to yourself to get up and understand what you're about. You're more than just your job, you're more than just your bills. They are a way of life only because the socioeconomic culture and system put us in a box. But you're so much more than a box. We're gonna spend a lot of time in a box when we're dead and gone in a coffin. We spend a lot of time in a box, as, as I said before, in our homes or our apartments, in our cubicles, in our offices, even in the cars, kind of like a box. You have to spend time outside of these confines. You're not dead yet, so you're not in the coffin. You're more than your job and your bills, so you have to step out of your office and your cubicle. There's good times that can be found outside in the world when you step outside and take a walk down the street. Enjoy the air, enjoy the sunshine. You will see more things than you actually do when you're inside the box called the vehicle, right? Get outside that box that this world has put us in because we are one of the most amazing structures ever. That, that I know of. Because we get up every day, we take it for granted. You have to stop taking it for granted and you have to pursue what your vision, what you're feeling, what you know that burning desire is that's inside of you to lend a part of yourself to improve the world around you, to improve things around you. You and you alone will only see what needs to be done in the world the way that you can because that is inside of you. You don't have to agree with me that there is a creator or Elohim, but you cannot deny the fact that there's so much that I'm talking about will make sense. I'm not gonna stuff anything down your throat. I'm just gonna leave what I know is true and what works and what has worked. Whether you are on board or not, it will work for you once you realize what's in you and you go forth and do good and great things with it. Now, many people take their talents and do it, do many, horrible, terrible, selfish, wicked things with it. Now, people who know how to really talk and jazz a crowd up, they can get people on the wrong side of things because they have that charm, that charisma, that connectivity. What are you doing to help other people? What are you really doing? You could be working somewhere and actually engage your talent and help other people 
and even make that place where you work at for now a better place based on your talents. When are you going to work for yourself? When are you putting that work in that's inside of you? I do what I do because it's inside of me to do it. It's inside of me as a part of a process. There's more things that I have in store for me to do. There are more things that I know that I need to do and should be doing to impact other people. The things that I see that other people do and I feel, you know what, I could do that better. Not out of pride, not out of cockiness, but I feel that sometimes, hey, if people are responding to this content here, then I know for a fact that they can easily respond to what I have to say. I'm on my path to improve how I talk, what I do, my presentation. Everything is a step. Don't ever take any opportunity for granted. You shouldn't take the sun for granted when it rises. There's so much that goes behind the physics of having that great big ball of gas up there to keep it there to brighten our skies and our days and warm our mornings and make the flowers and everything grow. Give us vitamin D. So much is taken for granted when we see something like that. So we can see something as amazing as the sun. People take it for granted. It's easy to take yourself for granted, other people for granted. It's very easy to just fall back and slide down in the slums of despair, of our bills, of our jobs, of our relationships. We shouldn't even get into relationships until we are in a proper relationship with ourselves. That's when you are fully engaged with your purpose. It's inside of you, your talent. You have to realize that what you are meant to do and you should, set, you should set every step forward to doing it and getting it done. Once you find your mate, you should be in a place where you know you're good to go. And I'm taking that excerpt from uh, late Miles Monroe. Uh, you can look him up on, on YouTube. He had um, a massive ministry. He's well known to a lot of people. And he had his own business and he incorporated uh, the word of Elohim into your daily life and how to be successful for yourself whether you, you were in a business or whatever it is your relationship whatever it is I, I took that from him because you have to know yourself first a lot of us get married and we don't know what we really want to do we know society says get married have kids get a house then what are we our house are we supposed to be measured by the car we have, are we supposed to be measured by the jobs we have, the titles? Many of us hold titles which we chase after because society put that standard there, not realizing that is below your standard. It may come with a lot of money, it may come with a lot of you know status, with a lot of kudos, with a lot of credentials, but are you really meant to be doing that? There are many people every day that wake up every day that realize, you know what, I'm going to quit my job. You know what, I'm going to put forth my effort into being an entrepreneur. I'm going to put forth my effort now in going back to school to learn this specific thing that I feel I need and want to do. There are people every day who are waking up to realize that life is much more than we have been told and taught. I have a close friend where her daughter the young daughter was admitted into a program for young children, an entrepreneurial program, which I have actually doing courses of that myself. And they are teaching these young, fortunate children of being an entrepreneur. Now, being an entrepreneur is not what many people think of as opening a business and that's it. Being an entrepreneur is realizing your talent of knowing your purpose in life and helping to develop that purpose. Yes, you can translate that into financial freedom and not having to work for anybody else. You're working for yourself. These are things that every child should have and every person should learn. Now, what this young girl is learning is how to look inside themselves and figure out what does the world need. How can I provide that? How can I develop that? How can I help other people with what I have inside of me? It's a beautiful thing. And I wish I have had that opportunity to do that way, way earlier in life. The problem is we go to school, education is key and important. Do not get me wrong, but there's so much things about ourselves we are not educated on. You have to remember, man, 
when everything is said and done, whether you believe it or not, we are going to be responsible for everything that we've done, everything that we've impacted, everyone we have impacted or influenced, whether by our actions, our words, our mere presence. We have talents that we are responsible to multiply. We're supposed to turn, we're supposed to turn that treasure into, into treasures that other people can use. It's a treasure. Don't bury it, man. Do what you have to do. Figure out what you want to do, and I'm pretty sure if you're listening to this, you probably know already what you want to do. Some of you are already on your path. You're already on, you're on your way and doing it already. Some of you have been thinking about it. If you need to think about it, it's good to calculate. But if you know what you really want to do, and it's not waking up every morning, going to the 9 to 5, some people are actually where they want to be in the 95 because it lines up with their talent where they want to go but for the rest of us you are not 9 to 5 as some people say you are the dash that's on your tombstone the date the year that you were born and the day the date that you die in between that is the dash what have you done with that dash don't waste your talents y'all Walk with me, develop them, do it, go get it. Anyways, thank you for listening to me. Thank you for listening to this music in the background. Uh, you could always catch my content and my podcast on my website, which is www.brooklynbaritone.com. You could also find me on YouTube, Brooklyn Baritone. I am also on Facebook and Instagram. You can also catch my podcast on the Google Play Store and the Apple iTunes Play Store. Thank you for listening. Thank you for supporting me. And you will hear from me every week as I drop fresh, beautiful, new content that's hopefully energizing you, making you think, and making you want to get up and go get it. Don't waste that talent. I'm not trying to waste mine. Walk with me. Walk with each other. Let's, let's do it. Anyways. Talk to you guys next week. Love you. Stay blessed. Walk good.